This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Chicago. Thousands of researchers are gathering at the meeting of the American Society for Microbiology to debate the effects of global warming on infectious diseases. Global warming is expected to increase the number of those infected with malaria and extend the duration of the flu season. The issue of inadequate hand washing among doctors and nurses, a practice that is responsible for millions of infections in hospitals, will also be discussed. From St. Louis, crib bumpers may not be as safe as you think. According to a study published in the Journal of Pediatrics, researchers have traced 20 seven deaths to suffocation from the bumpers and their ties. Finding no way to mitigate the risk, the researchers have recommended that crib bumpers no longer be used. Back to Chicago. Good news from the meeting of the American Society for Microbiology. Adding the drug moxifloxacin to the tuberculosis treatment cocktail can significantly lower treatment times. Over 8 million people develop TB annually and 2 million die from it each year. And finally from Maryland, the FDA has approved Flumist, the nasal influenza vaccine for the prevention of influenza in healthy children between two and five years of age. Flumist, which contains a weakened version of the live flu virus, is sprayed into the nose as opposed to being administered by injection. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.